Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about niche perfumes, my favorite topic in fragrances. It is about niche fragrances for beginners. So you can see these perfumes as your starter pack niche fragrances. They are super easy to understand. They are not too complicated, so you're not gonna feel weird wearing these fragrances. They are just great entry-level perfumes if you want to venture into niche. So if you want something that is gonna stand out more than designer fragrances that will make you feel and smell unique, definitely these fragrances I have today will do just that. So if you are venturing into niche for the first time and you like a little bit of guidance into what fragrances you should be getting, then make sure to keep on watching. Starting off very strong, as always, with a phenomenal fragrance from Maison Francis Curgeon. It is Gentle Fluidity, the Silver Edition. So the Silver Edition is the silver cap. There's another fragrance with the same name that has a gold cap, but I would recommend the Silver Cap. If you've been watching my channel already, you know how I feel about this perfume. This is a phenomenal scent. It's very well blended, it's fresh, it's clean, it smells of gin and tonic, as well as ambroxan. There's a little bit of sweetness from this scent. This is a really good, everyday, versatile scent for men. You can wear this really throughout the year without a problem. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear it in the office, you can wear it casually on the weekend. I mean, you can wear it in any occasion, really. It just does the job. So this is a really good perfume in terms of versatility, smells good, but it's also very unique because not a lot of people know about it. So for example, if you're someone who likes your Dior Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, or Creed Aventus, and you want something that smells very good in the sense that it's versatile, mass appealing, but you still want to smell a little bit different and want something that's more elevated, this fragrance will do the job. All right, for the ladies, I have a fragrance from Inistio Parfum Privé. It is called Atomic Rose. Atomic Rose is a rosy scent for women. It is just divine. It's a fizzy rose that smells very sexy. This is a fragrance that for sure makes a statement. It's extremely powerful. This is a perfume that has an insane, insane sillage as well as um, longevity, so it will last for a very long time on your skin. In fact, most of the fragrances, actually no, all of the fragrances from Initio Parfum Privé last a super long time and have a phenomenal performance. So Atomic Rose is a, as I said, a fizzy rose. The rose is sweet, there's some fruits, but you're not gonna get your typical floral, fruity composition. It's so much better than that. It is just taking it up to another level. This fragrance is sexy, it's loud, and it is totally signature worthy. If you are a girl or a woman that loves these fresh, floral, fruity fragrances that a lot of designers do, they very frequently explore the floral, fruity category, but you want something more, something that is different, this one is absolutely incredible. And actually, it is quite similar to Delina by Parfum de Marly, but I think that you should spend your money on Atomic Rose. Delina by Parfum de Marly is super nice, but it is more mainstream and more designer-like compared to Atomic Rose. So if I had to spend my money on one perfume, which I've done, I spend it on Atomic Rose by Initio Parfum Privé. Speaking of Parfum de Marly, the next perfume is for men. It is Leighton. And Leighton honestly is such a good bridge between designer and niche. And to be fair, most of Parfum de Marly fragrances are just that. They're great entry-level fragrances into niche. Although I will say, when it comes to the feminine lines, I wouldn't necessarily invest in those. Not that they don't smell good, they do, but I find that the fragrances are very similar to some really great designer fragrances. So just be wary with Parfum de Marly when it comes to that, especially for the feminine lines. Now, the masculine fragrances are a different story. They are very mass appealing, easy to understand, and they still have that niche-like quality. So, Leighton. Why Leighton? Well, Leighton is probably the most versatile fragrance out of the collection from Parfum de Marly. So Leighton opens with a very prominent lavender notes 
as well as a caramelized apple. So you have this freshness, this masculinity from lavender, but also a playfulness of caramelized apple that will immediately draw you in and draw attention to this fragrance. Then as it dries down, you'll get some woods, some spices, and so you get a lot of depth from this fragrance. Overall, this fragrance, if I had to sum it up into one sentence, it is a hybrid between Boss Bottled Intense Eau de Parfum, that like crispiness, the green apple feel, as well as Pure Havane by Mugler, so that spiciness. So literally this perfume is a mix of the two. And Nathan is also a huge compliment getter. So if this is very important to you, you'll definitely be getting a lot of compliment from women on Leighton. It's masculine and it's very pleasing. The fourth fragrance is a unisex perfume, I would say more leaning towards masculine. It is Peau de Pierre by Stark. This is a very unique scent and I would say compared to the others I mentioned, maybe a little bit more daring. So this perfume, interestingly enough, the brand doesn't list out the ingredients. It's an extremely abstract scent. And the way that I can describe it to you is that it is a soapy, clean, almondy, woozy type of scent. It's not soapy in the sense of, you know, like powdery soapy. That's not what I mean. It's just like the soapiness, the cleanliness. That's what it is. And you have a lot of aromatics. I'm not sure what it is, but definitely something that is fresh and clean. And you have those woods that are very smoky as well, which is super interesting. And all of this is blended with this almond note that really rounds out the perfume, that makes it very comforting and very more of like soft and rounded. That's what it is. This is a perfume that is great to wear all year round, in my opinion. It's very versatile. You can wear this to the office. I would say it's more of a daytime scent than a nighttime scent, if I'm completely honest. I don't really see this being worn at night but it works very well during the day for throughout all four seasons and actually it's quite difficult to find there is a website in the US that sells this fragrance I will link that website down below I couldn't find anywhere else where it was sold so that is really good to know uh, I know in Europe it's maybe a little bit easier to find it but anyways in the US I will link the website down below if you're interested in this fragrance. Next up, we have Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. This is a citrus fragrance, definitely more for the summertime, and it features a very prominent notes of Australian finger lime. Super nice, very intriguing fragrance, not your typical lime perfume or citrusy fragrance at all. This takes citruses to a whole other level, and honestly, I love this scent. It smells so good. And this is more of a masculine perfume again, unisex, but definitely more of a masculine vibe. So Australian Finger Lime, not really sure what it smells like. There's a high dose of it in here, but it's very appealing. You also have, at least in my nose, I find that there is quite a lot of ginger and spices that kind of bring this perfume a sort of like a fizzy cocktail, like a fizzy ginger cocktail. And it will transport you to the beach as well. It has an undeniable chilled, casual, beachy vibe about it, which is so nice for the summer. Next up, we have a unisex scent from Barbado. It is Bal d'Afrique. It is incredible. It is a solar sweet vetiver perfume. There's a lot of ingredients going on in the scent. It's done in such a unique way. If you like vetiver and you want something that is maybe a bit warm, maybe a bit more balmy, this is incredible. This fragrance I personally really enjoy to wear in the autumn and winter time. It feels very cozy, so it's woodsy. There's also some sort of like solar floral elements about the scent and there's also some fruit. I believe in here. It's really beautiful and truly a masterpiece from Byredo. So don't disregard Byredo because of the fact that fragrances don't last forever. They have really unique fragrances and I purchased this fragrance with my own money so I really vouch for this perfume. I love it and for those of you who have tried it, you said you loved it too. So hopefully that can give you a better idea about what this perfume is about. Belle d'Afrique, a little gem from Byredo, perfect for autumn and winter. Then we have a fragrance from Le Labo, it is Té Noir 29. This is a beautiful, fresh and spicy tea fragrance. It's super 
unique. It smells really good. Like I love to wear this when it's very cold outside, like an icing, piercing cold. I love it. I think it just works really well with um, this type of environment. It's spicy, it's black tea. There's also a little bit of fig. There's some bay leaves in here. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous tea scent. If you're a tea lover and you're wanting a tea perfume that you can wear maybe in the colder months, this fragrance is phenomenal. And this is one that I, you know, would recommend if you only had to get one fragrance from Le Labo, I would not recommend getting Santal 33. I would recommend Té Noir 29. Then we have a unisex citrus fragrance. It is Still Life in Rio by Olfactive Studio. This is a beautiful tropical citrus perfume. So this has an undeniable holiday feel, kind of similar to Bohemian Line in the sense that it will take you to a tropical destination, but it's a completely different scent. With this fragrance, you get really an explosion of citrus fruits. There's some yuzu, some orange, mandarin, and some other citruses. But what's really nice is that it's linked with a coconut water note, which makes it really perfect for high and intense heat situations. This is a phenomenal citrus scent, definitely unique and a really great one if you like your tropical perfumes. So that was Still Life in Rio by Olfactive Studio. So the next one is Philosikos by Diptyque. This is a cult classic from Diptyque. This fragrance recreates the entirety of the fig tree. So the branches, the leaves, and of course the fig fruit. To me, this fragrance smells like the fig that you've just freshly picked from the tree. There's a bit of milk that oozes out of the fruits and that's what it is. It's extremely milky. You get a coconut feel from this scent. I find that with a lot of fig fragrances you get some sort of coconut vibe to recreate this creaminess and milkiness from the fig and you certainly get it with this fragrance. It is such a beautiful scent. This by the way is the Eau de Parfum version. So with the Eau de Parfum the labeling is black whereas with the Eau de Toilette the labeling here is white. So make sure to go for the Eau de Parfum. It's stronger and I find the scent is just generally sits better on the skin. And finally we have a beautiful masculine perfume for the summer. It is Hasifat by Nishane. So Hasifat by Nishane has often been compared to Creed Aventus. And let me tell you right now, it's not Creed Aventus. It's different. It does have like a smoky pineapple vibe to it, but it's a completely different scent. What I will say with Hasifat is that the opening is very bold. So it's strong, you have an abrupt sunlight quality to it, and also a very distinct smoky character. So really intriguing and you kind of need to wait a little bit with this scent. As it dries down, you get the woods peeking through, the pineapple and citruses. So it's smoky, but remains very uplifted. And interestingly enough, I get quite a bit of aromatics in this scent, almost like a minty feel, which is really interesting because I wasn't expecting that from a scent. But all in all, it's very easy to wear. I think you have to wait a little bit, especially in the dry down. I think you'll understand it's a little bit better in the dry down than with the very bold opening that is frankly a bit pungent and really in your face. This fragrance is extremely powerful. It will last a very long time on your skin, so you will definitely get your bang for your buck with this perfume if longevity is very important to you, especially for the summer. So Hasivat is smoky, pineapple, citrusy, beautiful fragrance, mass appealing, get you a ton of compliments and just a great scent for men for the summertime. So this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed discovering these fragrances. Let me know in the comments down below what niche fragrances you have that are very easy to understand, easy to wear, that you think would be great for beginners. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.